Hey, hi everyone today we discuss about the logic uh, role templates that uh, we have what are the role templates that how it will help to trigger the workflow basically in order to go to uh, the role templates maintenance you need to go to slash opt slash cp underscore 960 and if you see uh, the definition template definition basically we have a three uh, types of templates that will help to trigger the workflow first one is a function model based function model based in the in the sense if if you see here the role slash opt slash pl underscore role receiver it, it this this the you know function model which will decide to get the relevant role so this the one of the criteria i mean one of the method that to trigger the workflow the another one is arg unit the arg unit uh, which is the template that will uh, you know trigger from hr master data like work center we have uh, we have another criteria to trigger the workflow so where we can maintain the entire group of people under one uh, work center so which will trigger the workflow to relevant role so another one is the field based template this template is based on the uh, uh, like company code uh, like uh, you you have a different uh, you know a company code or document type so whatever you choose uh, you know the relevant field this template will trigger so yeah these are the three types of uh, you know uh, templates that we have this is called a template definition so in order to create a template uh, you know uh, you need to just go to template So you first need to create a template definition so if just click on here and just click a template that is npo whichever you want and just for an npo if you have the template that you want to go with just choose the like the field based template and just save it and now what we need to do is in order to trigger the template so you need to choose the fields which are the fields that you want so the fields is like company code that if you want so then then the reference table the company code the table reference table will be t001 and reference field the book rs and allow ranges means if you have a multiple company codes then you can choose uh, you know all lower ranges here and uh, if you, you even if you if you select this checkbox it will allow you to uh, put even star so you have created the roles if you go here and check the product code this product code relevant uh, uh, thing that you need to choose the for DP processing workflow, you need to choose 005 and object type for uh, DP. This always reads uh, slash opt slash v1 p1001. So this is the one that you need to choose and just choose the company code. Just save it. So now. You just come back and what you need to do here is you need to assign this template to whatever the role that you want you you, you want to assign let's say now you created a, a role just let's say if you choose here
let's say you have the company uh, responsibility uh, you know party that is uh, ap processor or let's say if ap processor 21 so now so now you want to assign the template that you have created what template you have created that is npo1 because we need to delete that one so where we we assign the template uh, you know over here to the relevant uh, responsibility party whatever role which we create then we assign this a template id that we created so let's say now the one which we created is a org unit it's like a company code so let just we take the for uh, example we have taken the ap21 so what it has uh, let's say definition if you go here so <clears throat> ap processor 21 as the field based so field based means if you see the one which we created the field based is nothing but t001 and book rs so now if you go into a role so how it triggers if you go to the go back and check the role maintenance in the sorry in the simple 9cx4 and go to the ap process 21 so now you see here the company code whichever company code you want to choose you can choose and you can assign the you know the relevant id this is the just a, you know this is for uh, field based template this is a field based template let's say if you go to check and this this is for uh, org data so this means this is coming from hr uh, you know uh, master data so if you go here hr master data you will be having like a work center and role and job these are all you know position and user this the data which you maintain in ppome so this is the one kind of uh, template that will help to trigger the workflow and as i said uh, the other uh, thing just let's check uh, the function model based it must be one in the function model based it will be in there in the Let's check if you find anything in the function model based. So this is also again even. Okay, uh, we don't find any of the function model based. But anyway, you will find a you know direct entry over here uh, with the functional model over here, and we have seen the two template uh, IDs. One is a functional mod, uh, one is a unit a field based, and another one is arg based. So the, this buyer should be the functional model based. So this is how the template ID, uh, you know, the workflow will be triggered. So basically, you can create a, uh, you know, based on your requirement, you can create either field based or uh, unit, uh, arg unit based or uh, function mod, uh, function model based. So, what do you need to do? First thing is you need to just create a, a template definition and just create a field. You know how you want to. I know derive derive the you know fields uh, and if you choose the field based then